Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 42 and in this lecture we will also cover two important register for serial port programming. One is known as receive status register and another is known as receiver register, right? So these there are two important register. So let's start about uh, this lecture and learn what are these two registers. So the very first register that we are going to learn in this lecture is receiver register or RCREG register. So as that name suggests, it is going to be uh, totally opposite of transmitter register as we want to transmit certain value we will put in transmitter register. So uh, whatever the value which is being received in PIC 18 of microcontroller uh, serially, it will come and store as 8-bit information in receiver register. So if you are receiving 8-bit information, though it will come serially bit by bit into the microcontroller, but once 8-bit will arrive, it will be stored in receiver register. So uh, the value, the final value, which is received value in 8-bit form will be present in receiver register. And let's say if we are interested into that value, so we can actually uh, use or access this value from this register. For example, if we want to, uh, if we want to uh, put the value of uh, value, value which is received in 0, 01 file, then we have to use this instruction move f to f receive register comma 0, 01 hash. So what is going to happen? Whatever the data which is received present in the receiver register, it is it will be uh, sent or its its copy will be sent in 0, 01 file register. Okay, the next register is uh, receiver status register. Okay, receive status and control register. This is the next important register to be discussed in receiver uh, point of view. So in the very first print, since it is a register for big 18 f microcontrollers, there will be eight bits involved in the register. So very first bit is basically serial port enable, and that should be one if you want to, uh, enable the serial board and you have to keep this point very carefully in your mind that uh, this bit is related to both transmission and deception because it is generalized bit for serial port if you want to enable serial port communication then you have to place one if you make it zero that means neither neither you can actually transmit or nor you can receive so this is a journal bit which is related to both serial transmission and serial reception. So serial port enable, you have to make it any way one. So you will have to place one. If you place here zero, uh, the overall serial port will, able, will be disabled. That means you won't be able either to receive or to transmit, right? So that is why we need to make it one. Okay, the next bit is RX9. As we have discussed transmitter status and control register, we have been discussing that uh, though we usually send 8-bit information, but uh, there is a provision by which you can actually send 9-bit of information. So if you are using 9-bit of reception, you have to make it 1, right? And the data which is to be received as 9th bit will be received in this, uh, in this uh, bit, receive 9D, D for data. So it is data bit, whatever data, uh, which is 9th bit, either 0 or 1, it will be received in this register we remember uh, received values normally go to receive register but if it is ninth bit reception then ninth bit will be received here and but if you want to receive ninth bit you have to make it one otherwise this reception of nine should be zero since we will be doing only eight bit reception so we will keep it at zero uh, the next is basically single receive enable bit that means you want to receive only single bit information that is something which is related to uh, synchronous transmission. And since in this course, we are only, only dealing with uh, asynchronous reception or asynchronous serial port programming. So we will make it zero, right? So this is something which is related to uh, serial port, uh, oh, sorry, uh, synchronous uh, serial port communication. The next thing is continuous receive enable. Uh, continuous receive enable is like uh, you want to, uh, receive in chunks or you want to uh, receive uh, you want to receive in uh, what you say continuous pattern for example a value is being received and being received continuously for example if the value is not being received that means it will pad automatically so uh, it is something that is always used right uh, in a synchronous mode and uh, in a synchronous mode 
it should be uh, not used, right? So it is something which we used in asynchronous mode. So we have to make it enable because continuous receive enable is something. If you remember, in asynch in asynchronous communication, your receiver is continuous in hunt mode. That means it is continuously receiving something. So in asynchronous mode, which is the mode which we are discussing in course, it should be one, right? So these first four bits will always be one double zero one in our course uh, or in uh, generalizedly in uh, serial port programming when you are doing serial port programming in asynchronous mode, right? Uh, and then uh, the other three bits, what is it? Address, uh, delete, enable, frame error rate, overrun error rate. These rates are basically related to what? Related to uh, errors, right? Different type of errors, right? Which may occur in your reception because you know that when we send certain information, it is uh, quite possible that we will have an error. But right now we are transmitting at very low board rate. We are not considering very high board rate, right? So we will consider our uh, uh, information or transmission or reception errorless, right? So if we are not considering any error, so that means these bits will become zero. Address, delete, enable, frame error rate or overrun rate, right? Those errors will be considered as they are not present. So if they are not present, so we will place zero here. And the last bit is also zero because it is related to a reception of ninth bit since, since we are not dealing it. So this bit will become uh, four times zero. I mean, the last four bits will become four times zero and the first four bit would be uh, one double zero. So every time you're gonna uh, use asynchronous serial port communication and you are configuring receiver, so you will use nine, hexa and zero hexa, right? So what I have to write, I have to write move literal to working nine zero hex and I have to simply place in uh, RC SPA register if I am programming uh, pick 18 f for what for serial, let me write serial asynchronous mode, right? And that is what we are doing in this course. I hope this point is clear uh, to all of you. Okay, that's it from this video tutorial. If you have any confusion, question, please post in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.